Hey, Chit Chat, happy Sunday. Um, I scheduled this uh, one o'clock live for those that are on the fence or those that have signed up for the Booth Mastermind in Las Vegas um, that happens right before Expo. Um, and we recently had access to the agenda. And so people have um, formed some questions. So I'm just waiting for everybody to log on. Um, we have Miss Ursula going to join us. Uh, she is one of the masterminds behind the mastermind. And so I figured who better to ask these questions to than her. So guys, if you're having issues getting on, cause I don't see anybody in the queue. Um, please at the top, you can click join. Um, I have posted the link several places. Um, you are welcome to come on if you just want to, um, if you haven't purchased the ticket yet, you're definitely welcome to come on. There is uh, still time and there are still tickets available. So if you, again, have questions about the Booth Mastermind, which is not connected with Photo Booth Expo, it's just happening right before it, um, please join us here on StreamYard. The link, again, is in the comments. Hold on, I see some comments. Okay, great. Um if you hit join, it'll allow you so I can see your name. You don't have to say anything, but right now it just says Facebook user unless you join or you click something that says something. I don't know. Um, but again, I'm just waiting for our guest <clears throat> to join us here. Uh, Misty, where you at? You can get on. Just click it because I'm not asking you. <laughs> I'm not going to be reading these comments. I need y'all to get on here and ask your questions directly to, to Ursula. So if you are interested, you have questions about the mastermind. This is not photo booth expo classes. This does not come with your ticket for the photo booth. This is a separate event and, um, with eight amazing speakers, um, um, tech labs, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship. Um, you definitely want to come to this if you are serious about growing and scaling your business. So if you are interested, you definitely want to click the link and join us. So again, I'm just sitting waiting. Uh, sorry for the delay. And I will go ahead and reach out to uh, our guest. guys I just want to make sure her link is working and again I'm going to post the link and invite you to the chat oh there she is hello, hello. hi it's already dark there it, so we are on our way from the north coast in Ireland and yes it's six o'clock at night and it's pitch dark so oh. <laughs> I love it. I'm still getting, I'm still getting my, I'm better this week. Last week I was totally off from being in Africa for two, for two weeks. And so yeah. my time was crazy. I was sleeping when I was supposed to be awake and it was, yeah. it was bad, but I'm better now. I'm better yeah. now. It took a minute. That's kind of the way we are when we come to the States though. That's why when we come over for this event, we fly in on the Wednesday to give us a couple Good. of days to to get ourselves sort of ready. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, all good. it's really, really hard. I'm so happy yeah. you're here. Excellent. I know. And I'm so too good. excited for um for this booth mastermind. I don't think there's ever been anything like that, like this. Not for the industry. And I think where it kind of came from was PBX is going six years and Rob and the team have done such an amazing job. And as an industry, we're just growing and thriving and there's so much opportunity out there and that sort of 10 20 percent of the industry that six years ago started at pbx kind of don't know what's there for them anymore and people were coming up and saying well we can come and we'll help other people out in their stands and we can give our own talks and we can do but but what are we getting out of it because we all still need to learn and grow and 
none of us know everything. And anyone right. that says they're a guru, and I'll say this openly, are full of shit because none of us are gurus because we're all learning mm. every day. Every day. And so that, that, that's I agree. the thinking. That's the thinking behind it. And that's what we kind of want to create something. Suppose this theme in itself that we've come up with, the educate, innovate, and elevate, is what we all look for every day. We look in our own business to say, okay, who can I learn from? Even if it's that one week golden nugget that you get when right. you're speaking to someone for 20 minutes and right. taking the innovations that we have. I mean, there's so many softwares out there. There's so many technologies and it's all moving so quickly. And even the software companies will say, on the show floor, we can only show you a little bit of what you can actually do. So having those innovate rooms where you're actually getting into a session and you're there seeing you the back end on a big screen and actually understanding those questions you have when you're this. And so it's just taking it to that next level, need. Agree, Hello? agree. Uh, yep, I hear you. You're breaking up a little bit, but I hear you. You're here. Can you hear me? Okay. I can okay. hear you. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to start asking some of the questions, but basically what you just said is why a lot of people that I know are coming are coming because they've done Photo Booth Expo and they feel like, well, I'm not going to any of the classes. I'm just going for the showroom floor. And then some people are like, well, I'm not coming because I'm not buying anything and I already know what I know. So I'm not coming, you know, so this is definitely needed because people are getting not disinterested, but they they they're in the middle. There's like nothing really grabbing their attention. And I think this is going to grab their attention. Yeah. Um, hold on. Let me um, put this link really quickly because I, I don't want anybody to miss your uh, talk with us. Chit chat. Don't embarrass me. We got Ursula all the way from Ireland and she is ready to talk and you guys are nowhere to be found. Where are you? Where are you? And let me inbox these two people that it's had so all nice. these questions. Um, Misty was supposed to be here, but I know she's on. I don't want her to think it was because she's an hour different. Okay, yeah. I hear people coming on. Oh, I see you, Misty. There hey. she is. Can y'all hear me? Hello. Okay. Hey. And let me grab one more person I know was looking Doing to come well. on. Are you driving, Ursula? Yes. I'm I no, I'm not driving someone else. My sister's driving. So my sister's home for the weekend, but she's literally flew in Friday and she's out tomorrow morning again. So okay. we've been out and about today seeing people. Gotcha. Missy, you can get started on the questions. I'm going to follow up with all the questions y'all don't ask. Okay. All right. So, like, one of my questions with the breakout sessions, can you hear me? Yeah. With the, with the breakout sessions, like, how does that, how is that going to work? Okay. The innovative so how, how I have formatted the conference is... When everyone arrives, it's a full packed weekend. So literally from 8 a.m. on the Saturday morning when you come for registration, you're gonna come in, you're gonna be introduced to our team and register and go in and get a nice cup of coffee and be open to some things we're gonna show everyone just to get you all a little bit excited. And then you'll move off into the left where we have the educate area. Within the educate area is where all of the speakers will be housed. So each of the speakers, we've kind of given a session of 45 minutes. And the reason behind that is because we can only actually focus on anything for a 20 minute period anyway. And when you start to get longer or you start to get more in depth with people, you're running a class, not a conference. So we wanted the sessions to be of value that you're taking something away from, and then you have time for Q&A. So we only have four really, really top-end speakers 
and then a panel discussion to close off the day so that people are getting enough out of it. Wow. And in between each speaker, you will then be sent to the breakout rooms. And each of the breakout rooms has one topic. So dark rooms, snap pick, LA photo party, a curator live, all have their own individual room and they will run one topic and it'll be 50 people in each class. So it's breaking it down into a smaller session, but they're showing you that back end of the software in those classes, in those breakouts, and then it's back in. And then you have your lunch and your hospitality and everything's provided as well as part of your ticket. So you don't have to go anywhere. And there's a nice little elevate area where I'll be there and doing one-to-one -one coaching. We've got a head shop booth. We've got a few other wee surprises and, and everything's on site. It's on the one floor. You don't have to walk too far. And even the background that I was given, the feedback that people gave me about the awards, they were like, oh, do you have to get really dressed up? No, you don't, because we're not that industry, you know, but. Oh, shoot, come back. <laughs> Guys, we're trying to talk to her internationally. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> there she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, you've got me. Oh, now I'm on live speaker in the car and I can actually hear you. It's wonderful. <laughs> so, um, where did you hear to? We heard to, um, you don't have to go anywhere. Um, everything the, is going to be right there. The outfit, yes. the dress, you oh, don't yeah, have to. The dress. Yes, yeah, so, so many people were like, Oh, I'm gonna to have to go and get all dressed up, but I was like, no, it's smart casual, and it's about just relaxing and celebrating with each other. And then we've brought in international speakers, we've brought in international entertainment, and and just put a spin on it that nobody will have seen before. You know, and it, it's just gonna be so different. And I don't know. Ask me in March. <laughs> ask me when we get to the first of March what I was thinking. <laughs> Because I put such a high expectation on everything that we do, you know, and, and that's the expectation that I have of myself. And I, I want to put something on that nobody has seen before and, and nobody else is going to come away. I want everyone to come away and have learned something. And, and even just the networking alone, I can't wait to get in a room with half the people we have speaking. Because they're just on a level that I've never experienced and I can never experience in my market. And that excites me. Yeah. You know? yeah. So. yeah. Um, and these people, and, and one of the persons that was supposed to be here, I don't know what she is, but she signed up because the people that you have coming are never at Photo Booth Expo. You never see them. No. No. So that alone is like, what? Let me come. Now, I did see them when um, Ishmael did the um, New York Virtual. Expo virtually. And yeah. I could not leave my chair. So if I can't leave my chair on a virtual, oh, yeah. I'm going to be blown away live and in person. Yeah. It's so exciting. And these people are busy. They're really busy. And the fact that they have agreed to spend those two days in Vegas with us and with everyone that's coming is so exciting that they're giving up that time too. You know, and, and it is amazing. And we're so grateful that they are prepared to give up that time because they know it's necessary for our industry to grow. And there's yeah. so many great people coming up. I shouldn't say behind them because none of us, but we are because there's always going to be leaders in every market that you're in. But we're sitting behind them itching to get to that level and they're prepared to share that expertise with us and take okay. the time out to... And as an industry, we're very lucky that people are always so willing to help each other out and are willing to pass on their expertise and help each other grow. Because that doesn't happen in very many industries. They're quite happy right. to stay quiet and not tell anyone who they are or what they're doing. Right, so. right. What would you suggest or what advice do you have for us as we prepare to come to maximize the experience for ourselves? Like, you know, make sure you bring this, make sure you do this. Like, how can we get the most out of this experience? You bring yourself open-minded and be prepared to just give everything a go that is put in front of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's all you need. You just need to turn up and open up your mind to the other possibilities that are out there. Like one of our speakers is going to talk, so like Shelley is talking on a level where she's in a big town, a big city, and the opportunities are open, and 
and she's moved into white labeling in other markets and, and has grown and grown and grown. And then we have the likes of Ali, who's in a small town and still killing it and quite happy to stay in that small town and still kill it. And that's what I love about this. It's not a fight. Not everybody wants to own 500 companies across the whole of the state. Some people just want to make their millions and do what they're doing and enjoy what they're doing. Yeah. So that's what excites me about this too. You know, we're looking at, at people that are smashing it at the level they want to be at. Right. And that's the great thing because we all go into this with our own reasons. You know, mm-hmm. whether that's it, you just want to get out of the house so we can see people. Because like me, you're an entrepreneur and you work from home and you see your four walls all day, every day. So when you get out to an event, it's like, woohoo, look at me. I'm outside with people. You know, and it is because as an entrepreneur, we're in a lonely game, you know, right. so it's good to get out and do these things. So I'm very excited about the network and I'm excited about what we're going to learn from the people that have yeah. been doing this a long time and doing it very, very well and, and their processes and their understanding of how they got there. You know, and David Miller's going to talk about, he's busy named it from the trend because he's seen it all and he's been through it all the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I can't wait to hear him speak, because I've seen him speak on other things, but he's so passionately carrying out the job we do every day, because he's still hands-on, you know, and, and I love that, I think that's going to be fabulous. Yeah, and those types of conversations are good for us so that, because we've never experienced them, we don't know what to tell our clients to look out for, we don't know how to sell the experience to the level that we need to, without making a whole bunch of mistakes, yeah or underpricing our services. And so that's where I'm stuck because I feel like I'm delivering a great product, but I don't feel like I'm giving them everything that they actually need because I don't know what they need. And also I feel like I'm underpricing because I know I'm working hard as hell, but I should be getting paid a lot more. Yeah. And it's definitely when it comes to that too, it's knowing so many people will say, oh, but the client wants this. But what does the client need? We need to learn how to say, I understand this is what you want, but here's what we maybe look at what you need, and here's where to start with it, and costing it from that minute you start speaking to them. Not the, how much they charge an hour. No, because you've been speaking to this person for six months, and that's your time, and time is money, and, and we all fall into that trap, though. Yeah. But that's the learning curve we're all on. And, and, the, and those last-minute ideas that pop up the week of, the day of, or you get yep. there and, and we hadn't worked out a, a internet strategy or, you know, there's so many things or you get there and they haven't figured out where they're placing you or they haven't communicated that to, to other staff at the venue. And so then it's a big old mess, but you've been planning it with them for weeks. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. And all that needs to have a, a dollar amount associated with it personally. Oh, totally, totally, because time is money. And and it's our expertise of knowing that too. That's what they're paying for. It's the expertise that we have to say, well, I know you want this, but this is actually what you need. And have you considered this, this, and this? That's what they're paying those extra dollars for. It's you coming in with the experience to go. Like some of our venues here, people will phone me and say, oh, I want a spray wall. And I'm like, that's really lovely, but that venue's not going to work with a spray wall. But here's three alternatives that do work in that venue and here's how we do it you know and it's knowing those things that's what our, where our expertise come in and why we should all be taking off a lot more right right misty yeah i'm just i'm just totally excited uh sharon just hearing you say when you attended the virtual conference and how you could not get up out of your seat because the information was just so powerful to ursula i've been with you guys for for quite some time now and i know that y'all bring the fire and so i keep showing up to the zooms um and to the meetings because every single time i walk away with something right and so and it's It's given me that confidence, but also it's good to hear from people who are, who are just expanding in and just growing and growing to hear that these are the same pitfalls that they're having. Yeah. 
And so how are we tackling this as an industry? Industry, yep. yep. You know, and so I'm, I am excited to be in the freaking room. And like, I, I think I posted about this, like I can't afford not to be in the room. It is, mm-hmm. and literally, the schedule is really fully packed. Yes. It, scary, <laughs> it excites me because I want everyone, by the time they get to midnight on Sunday, and we've had the first awards in our industry for boosters to recognize them and say, Do you know what? These are all pretty cool, and these are all doing amazing things, and you deserve some recognition. And we have a great closing party, and then we'll all be into PBX, and we'll all just be buzzing absolutely buzzing for the week ahead i think it's well. going to and, and it's going to make our pbx experience even better because we have yeah, new that's... tools to come to our vendors with new questions that we're going to have for our vendors yeah. like you said they don't have that time on the floor which is because i i always tell people don't ask the simple questions don't ask questions you can find on their website ask them questions that aren't there and now yeah. we're going to have those questions ready to go yeah it is very, very exciting. So. Yeah. yeah. So my question, because when I saw the schedule, I've done my retreat like three times and everything looks really good on paper. Yeah. <laughs> then you start talking and you're looking at your time. You're like, no, 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 no. We got to stay on time. But how, how do you think that's going to go? So because everything is literally on one level. So okay. the, elevate, the elevate area where the catering and the one-to-one coaching and the photo experiences and all that kind of nice chill out stuff where you can take it at your own time, is literally, there's a hallway between there and the educate room. And then you only have to come out of there and down three doors to go into the innovate room. So it's all together, it's all in one area. So to be able to maneuver around that and it's all going to come together and be fine. And everyone can take it at their own pace too. You know, because we've put on an agenda where there's so many people there that are amazing and they're going to be there all weekend too. The whole thing is this is interactive. I want people to be able to touch and feel and see and speak to everyone rather than it just be, like I've been at conferences before where your keynote flies in and then it's gone, you know, because... They've only been paid to be there for two hours and have another gig down the road, you know, and, right. and that doesn't work. You know, our keynote's going to be there all day. She's flying in okay. the day before. She's so excited about meeting everyone from this industry because she has such a massive marketing background. I mean, she did the rebrand for Meta. You know, she sits on the wow. board for the BBC and does all of their marketing strategy. Like, she's just on a completely different level. And she's excited about coming to meet our industry because she was like, like a hidden world yeah i just talked to somebody in tech and they were like i didn't even know this was a thing yeah it's crazy and like she runs she works for in the tech industry and had no idea that our market was even there or as big as it is it's so connected i think it's so connected oh it's completely and we have to work hand in hand now i mean that's why Mm -hmm. When I left the agency and I fell into the photo booth, then I was like, this is is the next thing that agencies should be doing because mm-hmm. it's all interlinked. You know, it's all about mm-hmm. communicating and it's communicating through media. And media is the biggest growth set for the next 10 years. Videos, photos, interactive media is where the growth market is. And it's so exciting for us. Right, right. Um. You said everything is right there. What was the question? Oh, I like what you said about they're not just there for their speak and then they're gone, that they're going to be there to um, interact with us, be at the networking events and things like that. Because one of my questions was, what access do we have to the speakers and 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 everything like that? So you kind of just going to stalk them all all weekend because I'm yeah. going to stalk them all. So in the <laughs> elephant area, Sammy and I have just, we've just put a sofa in and I want it to be really anyone that wants to come speak to us. Come and sit down with me. Have a cup of coffee. Talk through what it is you want to talk through. It's it's an open door policy. Because I was going to set up a link where people could book in. And then I was like, no, you don't need to do that. I'm going to be there for 48 hours. And it doesn't matter what time it is. And just come and, and be there and ask questions. And let's all get involved. 
and everyone. So there are after hours, uh, hours. Yeah, as long as you bring me wine, you can get me to do anything. Do you not know this by now? <laughs> Literally, I'm on a you red or white, red or white, red or white. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fussy, although. Sammy has me on a three drink rule now for professional reasons. <laughs> so, you know, I, I have learned over the years that once I go over three, you maybe you'll have me ordering pizza at four o'clock in the morning for everybody and stuff. So, yeah, I'm planning on not sleeping. So, I get on on the 15th, and my brother literally lives across the street from South Point. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to be at his house just like, Getting ready. You shouldn't yes. have told me that because I'll be phoning you going, Tone, I need help because this didn't <laughs> nope. arrive. Yes, if you arrive. need me, just I can come over there because literally I'm across the street. So I get or in, I I'm might just phone you and go, early I need to get 15. away from all these boys. Can I come over and spend some time with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, my brother has a big media room and I just sit up there and watch movies and eat and just chill out and then he has like a little putting golf in his um backyard so i go out there and i play a little golf <laughs> now you're just making me jealous because i'll be at south point raking a cigarette smoke and getting everything together <laughs> right so what part of the south point is it is it where we, we come up and we go up the escalator or is it back where expo is usually at so the mate you know when you come to the the guy on the horse yeah yeah up that elevator okay. and to the right. So where the okay. breakout rooms would have been for PBX training, it's on that floor. So it's Simona A, B, C, D, and then three of the breakout rooms at the bottom of that hallway. Okay. 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 So Ursula, I have another question. Um, what about, will there be any official video um, that you guys are offering or... What's the feeling about people videoing with their with their phones? Mm -hmm. Like, what's well? We haven't. We're still on the fence as a team about whether we're going to record all of the sessions, because there mm -hmm. are some people who we know can't make it. Genuinely, just can't make it in person, and they would love access to that information afterwards. So, as a team, we are going to discuss this week what we're going to do about that. We haven't made a final decision. Because ultimately, when we started this, we were like, well, we want it really to be very special for people that are there, that it's in person, that you, because you do need to be there, you know, yeah. watching it on the screen, you don't get the same experience. You don't get to get that five minutes when you go to grab a coffee to talk to that person who's just been speaking. You, you don't get the same value. And right. this to me is about the value of we work in events, we work face to face with people and, and touching things and feeling things. And, and so there was sort of that mindset of, no, you got to be there, mm -hmm. you know, and if you're not there, then it's gone and you'll have to come next year. Mm -hmm. But we have oh, totally made up. She said next year. I know. <laughs> that was going to be one of my questions. <laughs> well, they say, well, the problem I have is that I've been doing this type of thing for 20 years. And, and can we just throw in, I retired from event management six years ago <laughs> and my passion for the photo booth industry has brought me back into a world that I swore I would never touch again <laughs> but I know we need this I yeah. know that there's so many of us need this and even if you think you don't need it you probably need it more than you think you yeah, know yeah. Yeah. and it's so important that we do these and that we get together and even just for the higher level people in the industry to be networking together too and talking and moving and, and moving forward because it's just so exciting. There's so many opportunities at the moment. It is. But yeah, is. we don't we still are on the fence whether this will be released as a virtual follow-up or that kind of thing. Okay. I was gonna ask, what is the the follow-up look like? I'm sure there's gonna be a survey. Are there gonna be like you know, Zoom calls with photo booth marketing where we kind of discuss what we learned or, you know. Well, I'm all about the follow up and I'm all about keeping that education going and moving forward. So any of our members, you know, when we get into March, we do do feedback from PBX and what did you take away? What did you feel that was maybe missing that we can work on between yeah. now and the next event or the next thing or opportunity that's out there? So certainly that will be on my agenda the whole of March and April. Okay. Okay. okay, good, good. Wait, let me grab my little book. I had no, I had notes and questions. Let me make sure. 
Um, how are your one on one? You already said your one on ones are going to be in a room. You're going to have a couch, bring wine and snacks, and um, <laughs> literally for us. Do you want us to come with a specific question? I mean, are you going to be able to kind of like um a a a upset? Uh, what is the word? Upset? Not obsess. Um, access strategize. Not strategize, but kind of, kind of give me like a look over, like a glance over, like okay, yeah. I see where you're at, and I yeah. see where you're trying to go. Yeah. This is what you're missing. Yeah, and that's okay. very much what I like doing with people because I am an outsider, and I can look at your business on different levels to say, okay, mm -hmm. so here's your brand, here's what you've done, and very quickly I can have a look and go, have you done this? Have you tried that? Mm -hmm. Have you thought about right. it this way? And that's something that naturally I do in kind of a 20 minute, 30 minute period with people because somewhere along the lines it became a skill set that I didn't even realize was a skill until someone pointed it out to me and mm -hmm. went, not everybody can do that. But yeah, right. and that's why I want that open door policy to sit down beside me. Tell me where you're at. Tell me where you yeah. want to be and let's work it out. Mm -hmm. That's where that's what I want to come to you with is I know I know where I want to be, but there's something missing. Something is either stressing me out. Um, I don't know what exists. <laughs> well, um, but so many of us put so many of us put a mental mind block on ourselves and mm -hmm. don't even know we're doing it. Yeah. And as creatives mm -hmm. and entrepreneurs, we can't see it because we're too close. And yeah. then someone can look at you and just go, but what about that? And you'll go shit that's what it yep. was the whole time and they talk about the glass ceiling in business and cracking through that glass ceiling and I have done hundreds of training sessions with business mentors that has cost me a fortune to go a lot of the time that glass ceiling the only person that's stopping us is ourselves oh I know because it's we're me. afraid of getting a wee bit of blood in our back you know yeah. and it's taking that away and going that and um for me it's uh letting go um, yeah, I do so much because I'm like, you know, my mom was like, you want something done right? You do it yourself. Um, and yeah. so you, I carry that with me. And even when my did. attendants are working, I mean, clearly they do events without me, but if I'm there with them, they can't do anything right. I'm like, oh my God, what do you guys do when I'm not here? You don't even do the tape right. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or someone yeah. I was talking to the other day has this mental block about hiring and they're like, mm -hmm. I can't afford to hire. But if you're hiring someone into your business, they're meant to make money. Right. So any employee that you bring into a business has to be an asset that is driving revenue. And if they're not doing a job that brings in three times what you're paying them, then that job shouldn't exist. It's that simple. You know, there's admin parts of our job that we do because we're like, oh, well, I can't give that to somebody else because I won't trust them. But if you've paid yourself up and paid someone to do that and you use that admin time, you could be bringing in three times what you're bringing in. Or it could be somebody doing your social media or it could be somebody setting up your operations, you know, that is freeing you up to make. They don't necessarily have to be the one doing the revenue generation, but they're freeing you up to go out and do that. Or, you know, so there's other ways to look at things. But letting go is the hardest thing for all of us because hmm. this is our baby. And it's mm -hmm. always going to be our BFA, you know. Mm -hmm. I so, agree. I agree. but yeah, I'm excited to sit down with you, Sharon, because there will be something, and we will, we'll find it at the bottom of a bottle it's of wine. It's something there. It's something there. It's <laughs> that letting go. It's um, not knowing exactly who to hire, and because I've been burnt on some hires, yeah, I'm scared to go back there. Like I had a virtual assistant, but a lot of that is me not letting go either. Yeah, trying to control them and, and stuff like that. But it, it has to be the right fit. And I don't know exactly where to get that person. And then you, you feel like I also the time that you have to on, on board and train that person. You're like, yes. eh, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> so that's, I had this conversation with my sister this afternoon because my sister's quite successful in her career and what she does in a different industry. And she is very good at people management and she's very good at hiring and firing and, and has built a, a huge team below her and basically runs a city law firm in the Middle East as a female, like huge, wow. huge. But, and she just, she got her MBA from the Queen this year. And so that's what she's home this weekend because we haven't seen each other and I'm terrible. I've nothing organized. 
I was just texting Mark and going, can you get me a bottle of champagne or do something for her, please? <laughs> and usually I'm so good, but we've been so busy getting ready for this event. And she understands that and she knows that that's where my heart and soul is at the moment. And she'll, she'll forgive me. It's okay. But I am not a very good manager. And I know that. And there's a difference between leadership and management. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. sometimes we don't realize that because mm-hmm. you think, well, I have to be able to lead, but I also have to manage these people. And, I, and that's not the case. Mm-hmm. And that's what we were talking about this afternoon. She was like, mm-hmm. but Ursula, you're a leader. But that doesn't mean that you can't hire a manager to mm-hmm. do the management of the people. That you, But you can still be there to lead and motivate and strategize and make sure that everything mm-hmm. is going so that the wheels don't come off. Yeah. And the manager then takes on those bits that you know and openly can hold your hands up and say, I can't manage people because mm-hmm. I can't. I don't have the tolerance for it. I don't have the patience for it. I want them just to come in and do their job that they're paid to do and do it the way mm-hmm. I would do it. And some people aren't like that. We have to accept there's some people who are real go-getters and there's mm-hmm. other people just want to go to work and do their job and get their wage. And I can't understand those people because I'm not one of those people. And so I look at it and then I get myself all guilted about why can't I make them like me? We're not all like that. But we also need, we need those types of people in our businesses too. Because not everybody can be the go-getter because then you'd all be fighting. Yeah. And saying, well, you're not doing it. And do you know, there can't, as my late mother would have said, too many cooks spoil the broth. Mm-hmm. But we have to be mm-hmm. able to identify what we're really good at where we need other people and that's where we all struggle in our businesses I think Mm -hmm. I agree and I always say there's a difference between a leader and a boss yeah and so it's knowing the difference uh the difference between the two and sometimes you need both you know to operate a successful a successful business okay going going back to the one the one-to-ones how how private are those are uh like say you're meeting with Sharon like can I sit at the table too or is it just the two of you like I work well it's going to be in an open space where there is other things going on but if somebody wants to be private I'm happy to go and and create a space for that you know if somebody has something really that they want to talk about that they don't want other people around or in earshot, okay. then I can make that happen too. So it's going to be, because I want, I want it to be whatever people need rather than me pinpointing it down and saying, here's how we're going to do this. And that's why mm-hmm. I didn't, because I was going to use Calendly and set it up and you could book a slot. And then I thought, no, because then that's me dictating to people how this is done. I want to be led by the audience. What do you need? Because mm-hmm. I'm here to help. And so it's up to you guys to set those foundations. And, and if you need to speak about something that's confidential, then we can take ourselves off down the hall with our wine, coffee, coffee, Sammy. This is coffee. And, yes. uh, and take a wee bit of time out. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Very good. The, the um, judges for the awards, they're very good resource people as well. Well, they're very good people. I don't know if they're going to be there to be resourceful as well. Will they be there the entire time and will we have access to them or? They're not going to be there all weekend because okay. some of them can, are only coming in on the Sunday. Okay. Okay. So as many people as possible that can be there from the Saturday are going to be there from the Saturday right through. But okay. I know the likes of Cherie, the way the flights were working, she couldn't get in until the Sunday afternoon. Mm. Okay. So yeah, the flights were crazy. And I just kept waiting um around and I'm glad I did. I ended up getting two hundred dollars off because I waited an extra couple of days. This is Lakiva coming in. She is coming to the um mastermind. She signed up, she's out of Memphis. Can you hear us? Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Look, we've been, we've been chatting it up so the floor is open to you for your questions and um go right ahead well i'm super excited about it because i am trying to go to the next level in photo booths that i don't feel like pbx offer me i just go to pbx for fun so <laughs> um, 
so we I'm, just go to PBX for fun and giggles night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really, really interested to hope that this brings more hands on, more, um, more information to make it easier for us to move to the next level. Yeah. So that's um so with the one on one, um, is it one on one with these people or is it one on one just with um are you Miss Ursula, right? That is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to put on some clothes so I can show my face, but <laughs> <laughs> Don't still... worry. So yeah, we were just talking about the one on one session. So that's gonna be with me and my team. And then there's other people that'll be on site, the likes of I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance to sit with Chris Collins one on one. No, I I've I I've been in a class, but not one on one. So Chris is going to be there all weekend as well, and he'll be in that area. And again, another person. If you can get a fifteen like, minute conversation, he's, pardon? He's, is he like? Is he really good at lighting and 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 green screens and? So Chris Collins is from Boothbook, but he is a serial oh, entrepreneur. Yeah. Who, yes. In terms of strategy, and like when I met Chris in two thousand and eighteen. We were both kind of in the same place, starting out our businesses, had started something there was a need for in the industry. Yeah. And now he's like super duper unbelievable. I just look at him and go, oh, when I grow up, I want to be like Chris. Like him, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard his, um, his um, podcast with Super Boothers. I was yeah. blown away. Yeah. Away. And that Zoom that, that you guys had with him, uh, I was like, oh, my good. He took things to a new level yeah that yeah he's incredible yeah his brain yeah. just works completely differently he makes yeah. you think about things that you've never thought about like that day on the zoom when he said well you don't own a company you currently own a job if you yeah. can't walk away you own a job and he's right and that yeah. is now instilled in my brain that i'm going right see this year at the end of this year I'm going to own a company. I, I, to say, I want to I want be a business company. owner because, like you said, I'm I'm just working a job right now. Yeah, <laughs> and and we're the last people to get paid in that job, <laughs> if ever. Um, yeah. So you're not. We're we own a job that you're not guaranteed a wage in either. No. You know. So yeah. it's uh. But yeah. So the likes of Chris is going to be there in that area as well, alongside myself and my team, and then the speakers will be popping in and out. And we also have the likes of we've commissioned one of the speakers is doing the photo experiences for us. And we've we've gone a little. Yeah, I can't talk about it too much, but it's very exciting. Don't let there's us be method. surprised. I, I love surprises. There's a method in the madness. I wanted everyone to have a fully interactive learning experience from the minute you step up to that registration desk till you walk through the door in to see the speakers, into the innovate areas. There's something to learn everywhere. Everywhere you go, no matter what room you go to. And even if you end up going into your room and staying there longer than, than was scheduled, that's okay if that's what you need for your business. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be the case that you look at a session and go, oh, I maybe need another 10 minutes with the guys at Creator because yeah. I want to sit with James for another 10 minutes. That's okay. This is about your experience and I don't want to limit anybody. And that's why I've laid it out the way I've laid it out so that mm -hmm. you can come and do as much as you want or as little as you want and take away what you need for your business yes. from all the brains that are in that room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm super excited about pop. <laughs> I'm super excited. They are like goals. Oh, unbelievable. They're goals. Yeah. So I'm super excited to hear what they have to say because that's the level I'm trying to be on. There. Yeah. 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 It is. And it's the creativity too. And you look at Shelly and Shelly's like me. She can turn a photo booth on. Yeah. But she's needed in that business because she goes in with the creative side. She goes in with that innovative side with the open mind of, okay, well, that's what you think you need. Well, actually that's what you want but here's what you need and, and it's just that different level and then she's the team below her and the management side of that and making sure that everybody's there and the operations to pull it all together and and it's just outstanding the stuff they do is like I say this all the time I'm in the wrong country 
Like I need to move countries to be able to to do what my brain and my body wants to do. Yeah. But I'm in little that, Ireland in the cold. That's what I'm excited about tapping into because all of your speakers have had so many creative um activations that I'm like, where does it even come from? Does it come from them? Does it come from the client? Because my clients are not that creative. They be exactly. like, they'll just call me and be like, we need a photo booth. What kind? You know, I have a lot. What are we doing yeah. here? Like, and they just want the simplest things. And I'm like, why? I want to do more, but we want to do more. Creative. Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know how creative I can be in certain spaces. And just knowing that is part of being uh, innovative uh, photo boofer or you know what I mean or do can we find somebody like that and if so where do we find them and what's their title so right who are yeah. we supposed to hire website. to actually exactly <laughs> who are who what's the title who are we supposed to hire yeah. to move right. to the next level what is the what is your how many what does your staff consist of right well one of the actual this is an exclusive for you so one of the speakers and the final speaker that we're announcing this week is that person so I have invited someone to speak from a PR agency who has been in PR for over 20 years, I think. I need to check her bio again. But, and she understands, and I want her to come. So when I used to work in PR, we used to do a thing called Meet the Media, where they trailed us into a room with all the media three times a year, and they used to tell us how not to phone them, how not to pick up the phone, how not to send a press release, because they are in their job every day and they're lifting the phone and people are trying to sell them things or people are trying to work with them or collaborate with them and they go about it the wrong way and instantly ruin a relationship instead of growing and nurturing a relationship. So I have asked her to come and speak about how not to knock a PR company's door. Mm. So that so we can are the events starting at 8 a.m. Um, Saturday and Sunday? Is that just... Yeah, if so Saturday registration's 8, and then we'd kind of have really an hour of kind of networking and getting around and see what's going on and what's happening. And then on Sunday morning, it's a breakfast. So everyone comes down, have their breakfast, and get all fueled up and ready for the day. Okay. I'm excited. And, and all the with hospitality the with the is all free included. So oh. you're... Oh. Your hospitality is included in your ticket price. Oh, and so the floor for PBS is included as well, right? So the trade show floor is included yeah. um, for anyone that's looking to go to the trade show from Tuesday evening. Okay, great, 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 great. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Yeah. I'm I think it's going to be prepared. phenomenal. I think it's going to be phenomenal. I think I think not only the people on stage are going to be impressive, I think the people in the audience are going to be impressive because we are attracted to this. Yes. yes. And that's it. You surround yourself with the right people and that mm -hmm. glass ceiling opens up anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I find as I've gone through my career and the people I've worked with in this industry. Every time you start rubbing shoulders with someone new, you learn something new and then you move forward a wee bit more and, and you're constantly accelerating rather than procrastinating. And so exactly. by deciding to buy a ticket for this, you've already stepped into 2023 better than you were last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ah! I'm ready. <laughs> so on that note, Sharon, you had said about how you save two hundred dollars on your flight. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send you a special code for any of your chit chats people to offer them two hundred dollars off the ticket price. Shh, Sammy's going to kill me, but I will send you a code this evening. So for anyone okay. who wants to grab some of those last tickets. With yes. two hundred dollars off, so that they can get their tickets booked now and get ready, because like an investment of five hundred and fifty dollars is very little when you can get that back out of one event yeah. after being at this event. I, more than, see, more yeah, than that. More than that. That's. Just, I'm just. It's like a penny in a bucket for what we're going to learn. It's. It's. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think we're going to walk away with a gig. We're going to walk away with how to sell our gigs because I feel like my invoices are missing something there are yeah. some things that are not said and talked about that i do that should be paid for and i just don't know how to ask for it and what it costs but i know it costs something <laughs> so, and that's what i'm saying i'm wondering is like 
do they know what we need? You know, is, do they know what we what we actually trying to learn? Or yeah. they, you know, because just yeah, like you how said, do we yeah. feel? How do the speakers feel? Like, do they feel like, oh, I'm gonna be in front of people that have been in this game and are trying to get to the next level, or at least trying to get to close to where I'm at? What did I need at that point? Where point. where where they're held at? I know what they need to break through. And I'm going to give it to them. Do they feel that way? Or are they just be like, hey, I'm here. It's a whole lot. Because what we hear a lot, and this was my, I hate sometimes about some of the things on Photo Booth Expo is like, people get up there and they're like, it's so hard being a photo booper. We know we are photo boofers. But <laughs> tell us yeah. more. Like, I don't want to hear, I do a lot of this and that. What is this and what is that? Yeah. Give us and the blueprint. Give us the juice. <laughs> well, you just, look, we, just, look, we didn't pay six fifty, seven fifty. We want the juice. And we well, can if you have ever heard Sam speak before, and Sam has a full course, a full course available actually yeah. through our website, and it's not that expensive. So I think he's going to give the synopsis of that to everyone to go, oh, here is the juicy bit she actually need, you know, mm. and it's it, it is that information, you know, David's talking about, here's all the things I did wrong. Don't do these things, you know, yes. and Ali's going to talk about in a local market because Lots of people can come and tell you how to do certain things, but we don't all live in big towns and big cities. No and so we have to be realistic that everybody's market is different. And so she's yeah. given that side of working with venues and making money on a recurring revenue, and but at a different level than if you were in New York, because yeah. that's okay too. You know, so we're all, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of value. And nobody's there to give a sales pitch. You know, they really Thank aren't. You. And then the sponsors that are there <coughs> are all going to have equipment. So in the educate area, there will be equipment around the room, the outsides of the room, so you can touch it and feel it a little more intimately where you haven't got 600 people queuing up to get onto an exhibition stand to, to trip over things. So right. it's just going to be totally interactive and led by you. So arrive open-minded and just experience it the way you need for your business. Yeah. that's what I want everyone to do is just come and be ready and open and learn and remember that everyone that's there is there to help you in your business for whatever you need to take away from it. Mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause that's why I'm going in, I'm going in going, I can't wait because I learn from everyone every day. Every time I speak yeah. to someone, even on Facebook messenger, I'm learning from them. Yeah. yeah see, that's why I thought the one-on-ones was going to be with, those the speakers i was like oh my god that's super dope let me hear it hear from oh we lost her oh. okay <laughs> there you are i was like you yeah, my phone was ring. yeah i was like oh my god let me hear it about my seat because i thought it was gonna be like one-on-one -on -one with them it wasn't really playing out it, it didn't say exactly what was going on so yeah yeah so when i saw who was organized and i brought my ticket <laughs> I, didn't know, exactly. I didn't know who the speakers was going to be. Didn't exactly. matter. I was coming. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And I, I'm actually about to sign up for um the mark because I'm um I have just I think it's like a free one, but oh, I yeah. I need to sign up for because I'm like wait a minute it is providing some good it's information. At first, I was like I'm just going to sign up and see what it's about, and then I'm going to get out. Now, how many months I've been in there for? So and I'm still not getting everything that's there. Like, yeah, it's so much to consume. Yeah. You gotta like break it off. And I've never been on the live Zoom. I watch them on, on Rewind. Yeah. I, wanted, I have. I haven't been on the live Zoom yet. Yeah, I have. Um, our website can be quite overwhelming for people, though, and our membership can be quite overwhelming because there is so much there. But again, you take that and you do with that what's right for your business and you reach out to us anytime and we'll help take you down the path you need to go down. So yeah. it's uh, there. Your One staff second, and ready. your um, customer service is amazing. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. Well, it's not me. It's Sammy's the best at customer service. He doesn't sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. And Ursula, I know you probably get sick of hearing me say this, but I was sold when you were helping me finish this proposal and you were in labor. <laughs> like <laughs> dedication. Y'all don't judge me though. Don't judge me. 
but she was she was in labor and i wow. had said you know that's okay i've i've got this you've already helped me enough and she was like no you're still missing xyz <laughs> so just give me a few moments <laughs> what and, yeah i know you are, that just that just speaks to you the are. your the type of commitment the that dedication you guys, yes have for for us um i have a and i i haven't told you this yet but i have a meeting tomorrow with a with a resort they had booked us once and then they came back to us and and this was like a year and a half ago they booked us they loved us and then they said can you provide all of this you know for five hundred dollars yeah and so i was on a zoom and i was talking about that and you were like f no you can't <laughs> and but guess what through through all of this time now i have another meeting with them tomorrow wow. you know and so i pulled the proposal uh because i'm going at it differently i'm pulling the pro already pulled the proposal off of the pbm website and so yes. yeah, i'm ready to kill it yeah Excellent. where are you from from so i may or Wednesday. yeah where are you from misty oh girl texas texas okay <laughs> <laughs> and, and where are we with the numbers? How many people are coming? So we only have exclusively 200 tickets. So this event is a very limited event and there's only a few left. There's not very many left. So I think hear that people, people if that don't have your tickets. Exactly. I'm yeah. gonna give you this code, you better get your ticket tonight. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not on the list, you're not getting in. <laughs> so yeah. But ladies, thank you so much for having thank me on you. and for getting me as a, well, joining me in the excitement that I'm trying to create because I think this is going to be amazing. We have been so lucky that all of the leaders in our industry in terms of suppliers and software companies are all back in this or it wouldn't happen. I mean, it just wouldn't happen without them investing into it too because they're investing into all of us. You know, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm so grateful for anyone who has bought a ticket as well, because otherwise it wouldn't happen, you know. Right. So, but I'm excited. Yep. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies. And I will see you on Sunday. Take care. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.